Hey, Soul Family. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for the subscribes, the likes, the views, the shares, the comments, the emails. I appreciate everyone. We're going to jump in. We're going to clear. We're going to ring the bell, clear the energy, and see what the message is that Spirit has for all of us together. There was so much confusion in this situation. So much like unnecessary confusion. It's like no matter how many times someone asked a direct question, they always got a roundabout answer. There was not a question that was ever answered. Words were said. Several words were said, but not one answer was ever given. Bottom of the deck, brazen. This is somebody who's who's built themselves up after their life is just like, they felt like their entire life, their entire existence, who they were, everything was just a lie. Like it was just all made up. It was make believe and it all crumbled. This is somebody who they had to build themselves up from the ground up. The Phoenix. Rising. This is somebody who has strong spiritual ties, strong cords, deep connections that they weren't really aware of. They had no idea about as they were in their existence of not really understanding who they were until everything crashed around them. As they're building themselves up, they understand now that they were and are and have always been part of a divine lineage. Now they starting to understand. They're starting to get a better understanding, overstanding, and inner standing of what the fuck has been going on. They understand why they they were just around some people that were trying to keep them stuck in shame and guilt and all of these negative emotions to keep them stuck. <clears throat> but somehow some secrets were revealed. Somebody gave them a, a heads up. Somebody told them how to level up. Someone let them know there's certain things that this person needs to cut out. This person needs to understand who they are and they need to step into their power. And this person needed to understand exactly what their power was. Fearless love. Someone's life is not the same as it used to be. Not a month ago. Not six months ago. Not even two weeks ago.
because some secrets came out. People's masks fell off and they were exposed. And once these secrets came out and these masks fell off, they had no choice but to level up. In fact, that was their only option. That was the only choice. They felt like they were being voluntold. Not by man, but by spirit. Not by spirit guides, but by their ancestors. They were being told that you need to be you. If you want to be happy, if you want to be free, you need to be you unapologetically, authentically, 100% you. Just by you being you, just by you reveling in the beauty of being you, that levels you up automatically. It levels you up. It's almost like and once you are you and you level up, you start to think, oh, it must be my time. It must be my season. It was always your time. It was always your season. You just needed to level up. You just needed to be you. But we understand that you needed to feel safe. Something about those secrets that were revealed. Somehow that's your safety and security blanket. That's where your safety is. Because you know what's the truth. And you know what's a fucking lie. So how safe can that, how much safer can you be? You cannot. Deter me. You cannot distract me. You cannot lie to me. I can only see you for who you are. I can only see you for what you bring. The betrayal. The lies. The trickery. The deceit. So I'm going to just take that as a treat. And I know which side I need to walk on when I'm walking down the street. So I can make sure, make sure there's not a time that you and I would ever meet. Because I know the truth. And I'm free. When the truth came out, that set me free. When the secrets were revealed, I then understood the power that I had and the joy that I could then revel in. for some reason at that time was when I felt the most grounded sure of myself that I can do this that I can make this for the first time it was like those secrets being revealed the truth coming out I felt joy because I knew I was able to take my power back. And once I took my power back, 
that's when all the wonderful, good blessings the Spirit had for me started coming my way. It was odd that whenever I took my power back, that's when I felt at my most safe. When I took my power back, that's when I spoke up the motherfucking loudest without raising my voice. Everyone looked at me and said, you act different, you look different, you talk different. No, bitch. I just went through a radical motherfucking rebirth. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? The people that say you've changed and they like you, how you used to be are the same people wearing those same masks that you can see through. Those are the same people that want you to shh, 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 quiet down because they don't want the truth of who you are getting out. They don't want the truth of who they are getting out. So they definitely don't want you to live out loud. But it's something about your truth. It's something about you being you, not changing who you are, not apologizing who the fuck you are, and understanding who the fuck they are. Gives you the power. And they know this. They know it. They see it. They understand it. And most importantly, the motherfuckers believe it. Best believe they believe it. So now it's like it's a t totally different ball game. Whereas before you was the joke, now... They feel like a fucking joke. It's a totally different ball game because they see that you got the power. Now the fucking rabbit got the gun. And not only does the rabbit have the gun, but the rabbit is reloading it and getting a new magazine and stocking up. Because I feel like the rabbit was tired every year, same time, whole bunch of motherfuckers, orange vest, orange hats, everybody trying to get this rabbit. This rabbit said, not this year, motherfucker. I got me a deer stand. That's how, that's how tough I am, bitch. Now, all of a sudden, they all want to be in grief. Because they want the rabbit to please take pity. <laughs> please, rabbit, please, please, please take pity on us. We didn't know what the fuck we was doing when we was doing it. <laughs> rabbit said, do me a favor. Get over to this side just a little bit more. I just need to see you in these crosshairs. Now all of a sudden, it's just not as fun. When the rabbit got the gun. What's the message, Spirit?
the one thing that they did not want on you to wake the fuck up, one thing was your intuition. And it was the shocking truth of these secrets that were revealed that it's almost like it kicked the motherfucker awake, so to speak. Something about you being or needing to open up all your chakras, you needing to be and remain in celestial alignment so that you can be on your guard. Because they're going to try and do something. Someone is going to try and do something just small enough, just small enough just to poke a little hole in your protection so that they can allow that that desire, that lust, that whatever they want to put in there to come in. That doubt. And they think that once they get that doubt in there, then they'll get the harvest. They'll be able to get whatever it is that they want. And they can make you have to start all over again. So be careful. They're going to try you. They're going to come back and they're going to try you. They always want to see if you really, 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 Learn the lesson. Just remember everything that you have already gone through. And just remember where you really come from. Something about giving and receiving. Someone is going to try and give you something. I told you that. But what it is, is they're going to try and give you something and it's going to seem innocent. It's innocent enough. Simple enough. That's easy enough. Ah, if I accept it, what's going to happen? Because someone wants you to accept it thinking that you're going to accept, or that you're going to reap pleasure, that you're going to be getting something that's worth it. But somehow, I, I don't feel that. If you take that, it's like you're going to have to start all over again. You're going to have to go through another radical rebirth. But it's like you're going to remember this radical rebirth that you just went through. And so I feel like you're going to decline it. Or whatever it is, at least you're going to, everyone has free will. Well, for those that are going to decline it, you're going to see exactly who this person was and what this person was doing and that it was not a, a change that was built to last or an everlasting change. It was something that was conditional. It was something that was not a change because you're going to see this person go into a rage and go back to how they used to be.
Something about you just need to have that forgiveness for yourself, forgiveness for them, and move the fuck on. Let them know that you forgive them because that's really what they want. But still, they, they're still stuck. They're still stuck with this whole lustful thing of, I got to get back. I got to do revenge. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. But see, you just letting them know, hey, I forgive you. I've already forgiven you. You know, maybe being the most loving and then distancing yourself. It's all it's like it's going to be a miracle for them. Because that's what they really want. That's their real desire. Their real desire is to have a miracle. Their real desire is to have your forgiveness. Their real desire is to have that good juju like they thought that they were having before. But somebody, they, something about some secrets that were revealed. Truth comes out. Someone has woke, has awakened. Their intuition is strong and they are following it. And this other person is upset. Whatever they're trying is not working. And, and they're trying a lot and it's not working and the more they try the more someone can see exactly what they're doing and the more someone can see exactly what they're doing the more upset they get and the more upset they get the more that is shining their true nature is coming out not coming out. It's been out. Their true nature is just being accentuated. Tower at the bottom of the deck. I told you, somebody, their whole life is totally different. Now they, they see whatever they didn't want to see. They had to. It was time for them to heal. They knew it. They had to answer the call. They knew it was time. They knew it was divine time. I feel like this person had to do it, like, heal. You, you're never going to heal publicly, of course. But this person almost felt like they had to, you know, really distance themselves or, or really go, you know, act like they're working in some, some totally crazy hours or something that made them not be able to talk. Yes, can't make this up. It's like they felt like they had to hide in order for them to heal, in order for them to answer the call because they didn't have it where they could just be them. They had to feel like they felt like they had to to do this secretly. Because if not, other people would make it so much harder. They would try and get them off track. They would try and throw this. They would try and do that. They would try and make, you know, you know how people do. You know how people do. You know how people get. You know how people get. We all know how people get. Something about the truth of something of what somebody in their family said. One of the family members spoke the truth. Or the truth was spoken about their family. Something about their family the truth was spoken. Secrets came out. Can't make this shit up. Secrets. 
secrets came out. Okay. You can't. You, secrets came out, y'all. It was a, it was a, a graveyard worth of secrets. Somebody opened up a closet. And there was a whole bunch of skeletons that started boom 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 falling out the damn closet. Somebody was like, "Well, wait a minute!" And then they somebody started, somebody they started putting two and two together. They always wonder why you know this person because this this person that these tickets came out about this person always kept they shit. Close to their chest. They knew a lot, but they. They had a whole lot of shit that they kept. People started adding two and two, and two and two, and two and two more. And two and two more. And it started adding up to all why everything was, why all the, why would the, what is it? I mean, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fucking confusion. I just heard. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Fucking confusion. Someone told someone else about this. They said, "Hey, listen here. This is the real deal. This is the. This is how this shakes out. This is. This is what's really going on. Tr trust me. Trust me. I mean, I see it. You don't see it, but I see it. It was very clear to this person. Very clear what the fuck was happening. It's almost like this person was the only person that could see it." Ring around the rosy pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes. We all fall down. Everybody fell down. Could have been five of them. All of the motherfuckers fell down. Everybody that had their hand in the bullshit fell the fuck down. Did nobody think they was going to get caught? But guess what, boo? All your motherfuckers got caught. All your motherfuckers got caught. Every last one of y'all. Ashes. Ashes. We all fall down. That's when somebody started working on themselves. That's when somebody started doing more research. That's when somebody started listening, actually hearing, comprehending, and believing the fucking truth. That's when somebody started seeing, I need to do my motherfucking research. I need to do some fucking work. I need to figure some shit out. I need to get down to the motherfucking truth of the fucking situation about the shit that's been going on for far too long. And I'm acting like I don't see it.
Someone's world is not the same. It hasn't been the same. When that first little teeny tiny little crack from the tower started, it has not been the same. And they looked at that little crack and they said, that was weird. Huh. Oh, well. And they closed their eyes to the situation. Yeah. Oh, well. They put on those rose-colored glasses and they went on about their business. Acted like they didn't see it. Acted like they didn't really actually notice it too much. That they didn't really even really have to say anything about it. Thinking that it was just going to repair itself. We got the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. They both shot out to the left and both on the side. So this is somebody that was helping them to self-sabotage themselves. This is somebody that was this part of this grief, this rage, this somebody that was that was trying to trying to uh, create this imbalance that was upset that they found out the truth, that was mad that they understand what the fuck is going on now. This is somebody who was upset that they took off those fucking rose-colored glasses. This is somebody who thought that they could just uh, always can always like confuse this person, always just like like keep a mask over their eyes or keep them blind to what was really going on. You know, make them think, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread over here, but really they don't realize that they they're not getting sliced bread. They're not getting nothing good at all. But yeah, they wanted this person to always keep this blindfold on so they thought that they was happy when they're not. But something ended. To this person's dismay, something toxic ended. The tower. Cannot make this up, y'all. Cannot make this up. Even if you want to. I feel like it's me being redundant saying something came to an end. Something toxic came to a screeching halt. All of a sudden, someone was able to see something so clearly. It's like they didn't need to wear a blindfold. They needed to take those the, those rose-colored glasses off and see it for what it truly was. Something that was keeping them out in the cold. Something that was helping them to lose the battle, lose the war, lose it life, lose it love. Something that did not want them to be happy. All 
always feeling like they had to defend themselves. Spirit stepped in, though. Spirit stepped in. Say, get your ass up. Spirit said, get your fucking ass up. Start the fight back. Spirit said, stop looking at yourself like you some type of fucking victim. Because you're not. I gave you certain skills. So I expect you to get up off your ass. Go back outside. Go up to that motherfucking bully. Take a stick if you have to and whoop that bitch's motherfucking ass. Take a stick if you must. Beat that bitch's ass. Spirit said you ain't stuck. You ain't stuck. You, in fact, you ain't got no choice but to get the, get the, get up out of here. Get up out of this. Because this is a no-no. This is a no-go. Someone stopped playing victim. They decided to look at the truth. They decided to look at who they was around and what was going on. Someone stop playing victim. Someone decided it was time for them to speak their peace and go their own separate motherfucking way. They decided it was better for them to be single than it was to be around bullshit. I can hear, I can do bad by myself. Spirit said, you know what you want, happiness? Do what you got to do. But somebody's acting like they don't have the the spirit or the strength or the tenacity or the or whatever it is to fight back, to speak your peace, to let somebody know, oh, no. No. Oh. You got me fucked up. You got me all the way fucked up. Mm. I'm the right one and the wrong one all in the same one, motherfucker. Someone is deciding it's time for them to move forward. Spirit is giving them the strength, the inner strength. There's They're coming up with some strength they didn't even know that they had to move forward. It's going to surprise the fuck out of them. The Spirit said it, enough is enough. Enough. It's enough. You know? Something about something's money. Somebody had already, this Queen of Swords, somebody had already told them your money's going to get funny. When you when you tired of your money being funny, it's because of this. So somebody already told them about something. Somebody told them about a whole lot of shit. And they didn't they didn't listen at the time. They didn't believe it at the time. At the time they was like You know one of those type of people. Like whatever. She talks that they just talking. They just talking. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Six of coins, the emperor, three of swords, and the two of wands. Oh. Mm. 
so that a voice that somebody gave to the emperor before and, and now that he didn't went through a heartbreak and now he's looking for a whole new path to go down oh they wasn't talking they wasn't just talking was they they meant what they said didn't they they was actually giving, trying to give your advice wasn't they they was trying to help you up out wasn't they they was trying to hook you up wasn't they they said it with love didn't they didn't they? But somebody was like, I, I got it. I don't, I don't need it. You, you ain't my, you're, I don't need you to tell me. That, that, that. Somebody said, oh, say less. Say less, motherfucker. Say less. You got it. I won't say another goony goo goo word. Mm, 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 mm. Not unless you ask me to. Someone said, because I'm going to sit back and I'm a what spirit molly whop your ass. Because I was trying to, I was trying to help you. But you want to get smart with me and tell like I'm trying, like I'm trying to butt in and help. Like I'm trying to get out, get in your lane. No, boo, no. Trust and believe. I'm not trying to get in your lane. I'm trying to make sure you can stay in your own fucking lane and nobody else get in your lane. That's what I was trying to do. But you, you like the Molly Wop? Get him, spirit. Molly Wop that ass. Molly Wop. Molly Wop that ass. Oh, what's the message, Spirit? What's the message? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Hmm. <sighs> Somebody tried to tell your ass. Somebody tried to say something. Somebody tried to let you know. You was about to be Molly Wop. I'm going to call you Molly for sure. I'm going to call you Molly for sure. Hey, Molly. They're going to be like, Molly, what's her last name? Wop. Molly Wop. What's the message, Spirit? Thank you. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Queen of Swords, the Moon, and the Two of Coins. Like the Queen of Swords was like, "Listen, this is this is what they're gonna try and do to to knock you off your game. This is what they're gonna try and say. These are the type of things that they're gonna do. This is the, but this is what they're gonna. Now, see, somebody sees that somebody was telling the truth." Somebody was telling the truth about something that somebody was going to try and how they was going to try it. They let you know how they was going to try it, what they was going to try. The three days of the week they was going to try it on, what they was going to bring up before they even tried it, the cologne that they was going to wear when they was going to try it, the clothes, they're trying it clothes. And everything else. Somebody was like, you don't know. Somebody else was like, oh, say less. Say less. Next thing you know, Brenda was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I swear this dude is driving me fucking insane. And you like this. Hmm. While somebody's sitting here going off, talking about this, talking about that, having these nightmares and that nightmare, and they had this dream, they had that dream, and this and that and the other, and this and that and all the other stuff, and you was like, you know what? And spirit is like, go ahead, go ahead, 
get, you know, go ahead. Be loving to her. And you like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm going I'm to teach your ass a lesson. Next time I try and tell somebody something, they're going to shut the fuck up and listen to me. You know, but this is spirits letting this person know you, this is what you kind of deserve, especially when somebody was trying to tell your ass. They wasn't coming to you with malicious intent. They was actually coming to you with love. They was actually coming to you with the truth of the situation. But if you don't want to listen, you don't want to listen. You can't get mad at nobody for not listening. You can only get mad at yourself for this for not listening. You wasn't listening to what somebody was telling you about this witch. How somebody was trying to use you. But you didn't want to hear nothing, but you hear something now with your Five of Cups ass. Now you all in regret with your Five of Cups ass. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thinking about that relationship. Mm hmm. Something about, and not the one that, not the one that you got your ass molly whopped by or, or for or whatever. But somebody's thinking about some other relationship. Something about somebody that was that was that they they let go of. They made a wrong move of, and that's why they 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 really they really upset. That's why they really and they feel it because they allowed somebody to lead and guide and direct them in the wrong way, and 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 that's why they had to. That's why they felt like they had to get themselves together. They had to be the turn out to be the leader they supposed to have been. They felt like that's what God was trying to tell them. You better come to me. You better seek me, fool. Yeah. Because they, they looked at some shit and they see that they've been doing some shit entirely too fucking long for them to have felt like that they've grown. They hadn't grown. You know, it was time for them to learn the fucking lesson that they were supposed to learn and walk the fuck on. That's what the fuck they learned. It was time for them to leave a certain shit. It was, it's time, <clears throat> time, <clears throat> time, <clears throat> doing the robot. Mm hmm. Yep. Justice, Six of Cups, and the Lovers. Yes. See? They sitting here thinking about this past relationship, this relationship that they should, they should have been with, that this relationship they, for somebody from the past, somebody that was 10 toes down with them. You know, this is some somebody that had their back. This is somebody that was, they should have been with. This is somebody that they, that it's almost like they, they want to go back to this person. It's like they're, they're reaching out. Now that they've had some time, they're reaching out with communication. Because they see that this person is their justice. They see that this person did them right. They see that this person was, was just right. It's like they, they felt healed. They felt comfortable. They felt at home. They felt... Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody is uh, sending out a message, or they want to send out a message. Something about some victory, because they see the truth of the situation. They they have something they want to communicate. Telling you something, somebody wants to send out a message because they want to communicate something. I I feel like you know, and if it's not it's not necessarily about truth or victory. It's like they just just wanna they wanna they wanna talk to somebody. They wanna bring something up. They wanna let somebody know. Hey, it's like they they it's like they wanna they wanna talk to this person. They just really wanna talk to this person because they see this person was right. They see that this person was correct. They see that this person was not trying to 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 fuck them, you know, or to uh to to mess with them or 
or to do them dirty or to do them wrong. They see that this person was on the up and up. And now that they have started working on themselves, now that they understand what their purpose is, now that they understand, you know, that those secrets that came out and the truth was revealed and they're able to be themselves, now they, they, and then they understand the truth of everything. Their intuition woke up. Now it's like they, they're looking at, at, at everything in a different perspective, especially when spirit told them basically to pull their head out their ass. And look at shit differently. You know, how can you grow with your head stuck up in your ass? It's got to be uncomfortable. I wouldn't know, but it's got to be uncomfortable. Got to be pretty lim limber for that shit. I tell you that damn much. But yeah, somebody, they, uh, they definitely... They answered the call. They had no choice to an but but to answer the call. And, and, and then what's so messed up is they had no choice but to answer the call because everything, all these secrets came out. Everything was seen. I mean, there was nothing that could be hidden any longer. Nothing. All the secrets came out. Hey, y'all. I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers. I sure would appreciate your subscribe. It is free. Thank you so very much. And I look forward to seeing y'all soon.